Still on other national matters now, the House of Representatives has condemned the poor state of Nigeria's foreign missions abroad. The motion was moved by Honorable Yusuf Buba, who described the state of the missions as an embarrassment to the nation. The lawmaker urged the House to make extra budgetary provisions for the missions from income they generate, saying no mission received capital allocation in the last budgetary year. Some lawmakers, while describing their experience at some of the missions, say the facilities are unkempt and exposed to various security risks. In 2019, all our missions, 110 missions, did not receive a dime as capital expenditure. That is why most of our missions abroad cannot pay their rents, and even where the properties belong to Nigeria, you will find our mission houses with leaking roof, with dilapidated uh, structure, and so on. Our missions have become an eyesore all over the world. We have been seen in the social media, in the uh, print media, and in televisions all over the world, how our missions have become a disgrace not only to Nigerians uh, living abroad, but to the country at large. Mr. Speaker, we have experienced so many such stories, like in the DR Congo, where because of just a stipend to pay for the recertification of the building, housing our diplomats, hoodlums came into the mission and through properties of our diplomats on the street. Uh, we have seen in uh, Senegal, uh, Mr. Speaker, where very few hoodlums, about 20, found their way into the mission, destroyed properties, and threatened the life of our ambassador. Former uh, chairman uh, finance approached the win the mission. If you go to the New York Nigeria now, this is a vast building of so many floors, but only three floors are being occupied and looking seriously dilapidated. The work condition, once you see, you know, tells you of what Nigeria is down here in Nigeria. If you go to Cote d'Ivoire, Mr. Speaker, I've been there too. The same story. And our ambassadors there are always lamenting. In Malaysia, the story is the same. While we are in a rented apartment, close to school buildings which expose them to public attack anytime. And knowing what our people are exposed to in Malaysia with all the millions of problems and all our people in the various prisons, our mission is exposed to the public and they are not properly catered for. In a situation where the ambassador will be the one to be using his own personal money or resources to take care of the workers, I don't think it's too good. When, when go trust, what do you talk of fire? When they attack our missions, how can the missions take care of our people over there? So it's, uh, we are facing problems here in Nigeria and our people are facing problems over there. So I think it calls for, uh, we need to sit down. We need to look beyond what we are even discussing here. Mr. Speaker, I think it is very important both houses, the reps and the senate, should sit with the executive to see how we can, you know, how we can find lasting solutions to all this. NNPC and the rest of them, they are revenue agencies too, but because the way these foreign missions, we've all been there are suffering, I think they need a lot of revenue. So, but I agree with you, it has to be, it has to be by, uh, by way of uh, law, and not by motion. So I put the question, those who are in support of this motion, please say aye. Those against, please say nay. Aye, Zabin.